This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. All right, let's uh, dive down a little bit deeper into this rabbit hole of the pen tool and see how deep it goes. Let's pick up the pen tool again, and I'm still on from the previous lesson, pentool.101.ai that is in your exercise file. Now, let's create a simple two-dimensional shape like a pyramid. So I'm going to start by clicking, say, oh, about here. And I'm going to come down to here. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hold the Shift key down to make sure it's a nice straight line. And I'm going to come back up and close the shape off. Now, you see that little circle? That means you're closing the shape off. You don't see that. You're not closing the shape off. Okay. So we have a triangle up there. We're ready to pen tool again. Don't forget the shortcut key I call the temporary selection tool is holding down the control key. And anytime you want to move this shape, you can hold the control key down and then move it. And when you let go, you're back to drawing again. I think that's an important one to remember. But let's say you're done with the drawing. You've got all the pen tool objects up there. And now you come up to your regular selection tool and you start doing things. You manipulate it. Don't forget with the selection tool, I can resize by going to a corner and make it bigger, make it smaller. I can distort it by going to any one of these pieces right here. I can go to any corner, actually anywhere, if you get close enough. But to get to those corners, I can rotate it if I want to. That's what the selection tool does. I think we know that. But I don't like the point of the pyramid. It's not centered. So if I need to do that, I can come over here and click on my direct selection tool. In doing so, that's the point I want to change. I can marquee it, just like that, that selects it, and I can use my arrow keys to move it backward and forward. Let's go back again. Let's come back to this tool. Remember, if you use the pen tool and you hold down the control key, you temporarily get the selection tool. But here's a trick. If you've got the selection tool, and really what you want to do is you want to make an adjustment, but you want to go right back to the selection tool. The temporary button, the control key, if you're using the selection tool, is actually the direct selection tool. Back and forth. So I can hold the control key down, get the direct selection tool, run my marquee over that point, let go. Actually, I get my bounding box. I can then move the point until it goes directly over that point, and I know that it's exactly centered. So, pen tool. The temporary tool gives you the old selection tool. The selection tool control key gives you the direct selection tool. So it's just a way to get faster. I'm a big believer in shortcuts. I've told you this before. Shortcuts can save you time. University study shows one hour out of every eight is saved when you learn and work with shortcuts. Now, I don't use them as much in a training session. Because if I did, you'd never really see me doing anything. You'd just see things getting done. But in the workforce, that's what you want to happen. You want to see things getting done. Now, again, we're still working with straight points here, aren't we? Let's delete that one. Let's get out of there. Let's come over here and let's draw an ellipse the, well, the easy way. Come over here. I'll hold down the shift key so I get a nice perfect circle and let go. Now, you will notice that part of this circle, let me go to my direct selection tool here, there are four anchor points that make up this circle. And if I click on one of them, you can see those direction lines coming off of each one. Took four with the tool. Think of it this way. The more complex documents in Adobe Illustrator contain more anchor points. The paths don't, because the paths don't really have anything. It's all controlled by what's going on with the anchor point. That's the control station to make it all happen. So the more anchor points you have, the more complex your shape. Now, obviously, four anchor points is not going to make or break anybody. However, when you really start getting into complicated stuff, the more anchor points you have, the more math is required to redraw the shapes or even to print them. And it is possible that you can create a shape so extremely complex that basically there's too much math and it just fries the memory of the print device. It can happen. Let me show you how to now with the pen tool, make a circle, 
but only use two points instead of four. Come over here and click and drag. Now, if you want this to be perfect, hold down the shift key and say we go to about there. So there's our first anchor point. I want you to come straight over, hold the shift key down, say to about there. Don't forget to hold the shift key down and drag straight up. Now this is gonna be more of an oval I can see, but that's all right. Come back over to the starting point. You see the circle come up. If you click, it's gonna close the shape off. But if you hold on the shift key again, click and drag down to about that same part, right there, you've got the beginnings of, in a sense, a circle. Now we can come over here and pick up our selection tool and come over here and select the shape. But if we wanna make it more round and we're doing this with our eyes, we can come over to our direct selection tool or don't forget the shortcut, hold the control key down and just grab that one point here and then use your arrow keys to move it in until it approximates something a little bit more like a circle. Straight points, curve points, don't forget the shortcuts because they can really help you out. And if you draw things with the pen tool, the more you get used to it, the more comfortable you'll be with it. You can actually create shapes that are less complex and will do better when we output them. On to the next.